have just received a very interesting parcel and I don't have my little stand so I'm gonna open it and then I'll show you okay give me one sec I know exactly what this is now um I won a giveaway for oh I can't remember what it is on Instagram wait give me a sec I was very surprised that I won from team bookmark we won the demon in the wood gift box it's a graphic novel by Leigh Bardugo. We love the Grisha verse. Um, but yeah, let me show you what's in it because I don't really know what's in it, but I do, but I don't. So, so here we go. Ta da! So, got a little greeting card. Um, got two prints. This is one of them. And then this is another. And got a candle which smells delightful. There's nothing wrapped on it, so I don't know what smell it is. Got a load of lint chocolate. Lindor lint chocolate. And then, yeah, what the hell? Love it. Thank you. Well, I mean, I want it, but thank you. <laughs> again <laughs> not intoxicated anymore I am at home and uh, have a cheeky little pixie delivery so let's open this up together oh makeup yes we've got glow out with pixie this. I've got to do that because my, my screen's upside down. There we go. This is what we've got. We've got some eye lift maxes, extreme long wear liquid eyeshadow, silky eye pen. I do love their eye pencil. A nuance quarter blush quad, um, primer, a lip brightener, and a mascara. I'll show you. So here's the eye lifts pencil um the primer yeah let's get all these bits and bobs out i love these things but they're such a pain to actually get out of the, the box like so these are the eye lift maxes the pinkier one is sunset and the chiffon is the icier one I'm gonna like blend them a little bit and then yeah like I've just blended them out and they're yeah they're super cute they are oh yeah I like those I could have definitely done with those two yesterday then I've got a lip brightener with primer that's just like a rosy coloured primer that is hydrating radiant primer just adds a bit of glow there's nothing like yeah I don't know how amazing that's gonna be got this pencil which there's amazing i love the pencils so creamy they just don't move either all right how am i gonna get this blush out come on there we go and then i got a blush quad oh i think i've had this one before this is actually really pretty um i think it was my sister actually like they're really pretty oh, to be fair that is really pretty that's a good travel let me test that out first before i decide if i'm gonna give that away I'm so like, I'm gonna give all of this away to my friends. <laughs> then I'm like, no, maybe you should use it. I'm like, mm, I don't know. My sister might like that. And then the mascara. Mm -mm. Interesting. But yeah, I love getting some makeup bits from Pixie because they normally send me skincare, which is absolutely fine. Um, but I feel like I'm more willing to play around with makeup than I am with my skincare. Um, for obvious reasons. <laughs>
weird because this is upside down because my screen is like horrendous. Let me put my water bowl there. Yes. We're good? Yes. Okay, the battery died. We're back again. I've realised I've not actually given you a reading update for a while. I have still been reading. Um, I've just not really been on my Instagram. I mean, I'm getting there. I'm getting better. Um, it's probably my New Year's resolution, actually, to just get back in it, you know? Get a bit more structured and stuff. Um, anyway, it's three days till Christmas. How crazy is that? I can't. I just can't go. So, um... I was gifted Monsters Born and Made by EDPR. Um, I was gifted it by them, but this book is by somebody else and published by somebody else. Um, and I realised I never actually spoke about it. Um, now I've got to try to think about what I thought about it. I think the actual overall concept was really cool and really good, and the writing was good, and I enjoyed the world and the world building. Um, got a phone call anyway <laughs> back to what i was saying the yeah world building everything great characters were good but i didn't care about them so like maybe you will <laughs> but i personally just didn't really care about the characters that much but like there was nothing wrong with them if that made sense like they were good they were well written they had some stories and I feel like they were well rounded, but I just didn't really care. Like, if they died, I was a bit like, yeah, okay, if they lived, I was a bit like, oh, okay, whatever, it's fine. Didn't have a connection. Um, but otherwise, like, the whole concept was really cool and really interesting. I have to say, the injustice did hit me. It annoyed me so much, and I was just like, <clears throat> you know, when it's like, you know, when powerful rich people say one thing and they do another, it just like gets you right in the soul. I hate it. Um, but I will definitely buy the second one when that comes out if there is going to be a second one because to be fair i did i did enjoy it it was really good um and also a floppy paperback amazing i love a floppy paperback um but yeah it was a good read i'll leave all the details but let, that's you know that's a given and then i've just finished daughter of darkness which again this was gifted to me by hockey books um and I'm never really one for like a Greek mythology retelling-esque fiction book just because the mythology goes right over my head. I've got no clue what's going on and I just struggle, basically. Um, so I tend to avoid them. So I tried to read Circe once and that was, it was great. It was a good book. I just got halfway through or even a quarter of the way through and I was just like, I'm not getting on with the, the mythology or the story or what's going on here. And I think even... Is it Kingdom of Souls? I think I read last year. And that was based off um, mythology from an African country, which I, I can't remember at the minute, or I don't know if it was just general Af African mythology. Um, and I just couldn't get on with that either because I just didn't get the mythology behind it. So it just, it left a hole for me in the actual story. But you know, that's on me. I don't know the mythology. So um, yeah, but I have to say, I did not have this problem with this one. It kind of outlined the tale of Orpheus and Eurydice. Eurydice, I don't know how you say her name. Um, in the, like, briefly in the, the blurb slash in the book, like, listed. Um, that kind of gave me some, like, foregrounding. But what I would say, even, like, the myth inspires the story and it's not an outright retelling of the myth. If that makes sense. It's... Do you know what I mean? That's the backdrop. That's the reason why people are doing things, but it's not the whole story. So again, it was written really well. The world building was really cool. Loved it. They were in the underworld for like near enough the whole book, which is great because it just kind of went straight in there. There was no messing around. There was no rushing. Um, and that was brilliant. But again, I just didn't really gel with the characters. <laughs> like I didn't care if they lived or died. There was one character that was really sad um, about their ending, their future, you know, how they ended up but otherwise i just didn't really care especially about the main character like everyone on goodreads was like oh my gosh she's so strong and independent and whatever and i was like is she she just they always feel a bit flat to me and i think i said that on my instagram as well i was like 
was great but the characters just felt a little bit flat um chapters were just a little bit too long for me because i just like short chapters they help me keep my attention <laughs> i'm basically a child um but yeah they're two books i've literally just read i'm currently reading agency for scandal which is one i won at yelk by scholastic i want to say um so i won that and to be fair I'm, I'm enjoying it but the language is a little bit young for me um which is fine because i think that's obviously that's the end dungeon so yeah i need to keep this out actually because i need to give that to my friend and um i got these two books these were gifted to me oh, i can't remember who by little thorn or something like that oh my god yeah so these two were gifted to me by little thorn books i want to shout them out they're an independent publisher i'm um, trying to make their way in the world um i can't remember what they are give me a stick it's just really cool i want to shout out all the publishers out there that are still getting involved with me even though i'm not like fastest growing or doing anything on tiktok or that like i'm not like you know crushing it on instagram i'm just posting what i want to post and just don't know what i remember like thank you for sticking by me i really really appreciate it um but yeah little thorn are a startup feminist gothic novella publisher um and that's what these guys are based on so i've got it's always midnight somewhere by louise mercer and the haunting scent of poppies by victoria williamson this one's a ghost story um i think this is just a little fantasy story i think um but yeah i'm really excited they're only little so i'm quite excited to like read those um yeah thank you for sending them to me i really appreciate that i'm do going to donate blood tonight uh that's exciting i just need to make sure i stay fluid and drink fluids and eat loads and stuff like that <laughs> been donated not gonna lie it's a little bit woozy at the minute but it's fine i've been feeling like that all day my blood just did not want to give today it was like first i had low iron so i was just two points above what they would let me do so you meant to be 125 or above i was 127 so whoop. and then um the lady was sticking the needle in me yeah well, firstly, she couldn't find the boy. She could find the vein, but it wasn't popping like it should be popping. Um, and then when she stuck the needle in and stuck it down, the tape wouldn't stay, so the needle just flopped, not out, but to the side, which was very weird and uncomfortable. Yeah, <laughs> like anything else. Um, but it's good. I feel good. Um, saving lives, baby. <laughs> um, again, I urge anyone who can and who has a means to to donate blood is literally an hour of your time three times a year if you do it as frequently as possible um i've got a video on my first experience so i'll link that below slash over here somewhere but yeah now it's time to go home because i'm, I'm tired and i want just want my pajamas and get to bed <laughs> literally just woke up it's a very late one for us it's 29 we're making pancakes for the fam right how many do i want to make i think 20. it's five of us so if i make 20 then that's like four each so that's enough i got this mix from costco and uh, it's, uh, it's really quite nice. It's really, really, really quite nice. And now we mix. Yasmin. Yeah. 
Yeah. Can't believe it. It's pneumonia. Hawker Chase did that on some old poetic folk songs. Christmas present number one. Ooh. On the Black Friday sale. Um, it just go obviously on Black Friday. I got, I saw that the Beauty Works Molly May curling styling situation was like thirty five pounds. Um, well I think it was forty five, but I had a ten percent ten pound off discount because it was like my first TikTok shop purchase. So it was my first ever TikTok shop purchase, and like it's all good. It's went okay so far, and now we're gonna use it for the first time. Are we excited? Because I'm excited. <laughs> This is where we're at with the hair. I'm loving, I'm enjoying. It's very good, it's a very good wand. Heats up super quick, it's super hot, and it's just nice. And now we're doing the makeup. Time for the makeup. We're done. Pajamas on, and now we're watching Strictly the Christmas Special. Oh, babies! Yes, yes. You just got to do as many as you can in two minutes. Ready? Okay, I have a question. Do you know what a necktie is? <laughs> exactly. Stay away from Ready? One, two, three. I am 